Many times we try to see God to speak to us in the natural realm through a sign, through a wonder, and, you know, through audible voice. Some people say, if, if God wants to tell me something, let him speak to me. I want to hear his audible voice. You know. There's nothing wrong in that, but that's seeking, you know, the answer in the wrong place. You know, God really wants to speak to you in the spirit. That's what Paul writes that it's only the Holy Spirit who knows the things of God and is the Holy Spirit who reveals it to us. That's what verse 10 tells us, but God has revealed them to us through His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. In other words, everything that God ever wants to communicate to you, the Holy Spirit is well able and ready and he's the only by media to communicate to you that awesome plans of God. So it's important that we need to move out of this uh, realm where we are just, you know, constantly pressured to, to seek answers in the natural realm or by looking at things around us. That's not the way we hear God, but looking to the Holy Spirit who lives in us. You know, the moment we are born again and then when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is in us. In fact, when you are born again, you are born again by the water and the Spirit, which means the Word of God and the Spirit of God. And that's what it says in John chapter 3. So the Holy Spirit is in you and He is able to guide you. He's able to direct you. So, so we have to come to a place where, where we say, Lord, I don't want to seek answers. I don't want to seek solutions from my mind, from the situations that are around me. Though I need solutions for my situations, I'm going to seek it by surrendering my life, surrendering my faculties by saying it's not in my ability, it's not in my own intellect, it's not in my own capacity that I find solutions or that I hear from you, but rather I just lay everything down and I just open up my heart. You speak to me, Lord. You just have your way. You just tell me what you want me to do. Now, that's the attitude that can actually move you from a place of, you know, where, where the ears are plugged in to a place of being, you know, having an open ear. Like Jesus said, he was an ear, let him hear. That doesn't mean that people don't have ears. It just means that having an open ear.